Today's video is for those asking, what is the difference between a personality test and the human design? So with the personality test, doesn't matter which one you've done, whether it's the DISC profile, five love languages, um, the Maya Briggs, the Enneagram, the 16 personalities, and many, many more, every single one of them is asking you a bunch of questions. And these are questions that are asking you to use your mind. And the famous saying is, where you're in your head, you're dead, because the majority of the thoughts that are constantly going on in our head, they're not ours. And we're thinking about things even that don't matter. So I'm not saying that there is no merit with a personality test. What I'm saying is that it's asking you questions that maybe you aren't 100% sure of yourself. Now I've done all of these tests and definitely I've got some results that are so useful for me to know. With the human design, the difference is we ask you no questions. So we don't, we're not interested in getting in your head because with human design, we know that 70% of us have that area open. So we know for a fact that we're thinking about things that don't matter. Okay, so with human design, we get some basic information and what we get is a blueprint of you. It's you under all of these masks. What we can tell from the human design is I can tell you what is your personality type? How does your energy work around other people? How you can make wiser decisions for you, not for anyone else, but just for you and how to tap into that properly how your unconscious components run your life, okay, which is what we call the shadow or the mask, right? And then we look at the conscious, we look at what is it that you can go and access within you at any given time and it's very, very accurate. We work out what is your natural characteristics that you can rely on, okay? This stuff is so important. You know, we're looking at the primary way of how you are as a person and what your orientation is in, is in life. We can look at, you know, what is your purpose? What are you supposed to be doing? You know, um, what you sh what's the most important things that run your show, okay? We can look at what your language of love is, you know, how you like to be intimate, how you love, how you fear, how you care, you know, what is holding you back in life and love and how you connect in relationships. You know, we work out what drives you. And we're not talking about what drives you from your head. We're not interested in the things that you've learned from everything that's external. We're not interested in the things that you've learned through your parents. You know, you're not here to be your parents, you're here to be you, okay? So it's not about the environment. It's not your parents, it's not your teachers, it's not your schooling, it's not, you know, the, the, your, your community. We're interested in discovering getting rid of all of that, let's get all that stuff away, and then coming into the crux of who you really are and how you're supposed to operate day to day. Are you supposed to be a person that does a nine to five job or not? Okay, so this component that we teach within the human design, this is all of that on steroids. <laughs> You know, someone said it's a spiritual DNA and you know what, I'm actually going to agree with it. So for those of you that are interested in learning more about your human design, what makes you tick, how you can finally find that secret source, like you may have had things go really well in your life, but you know that there's more, you know that there's more out there and you want to access it, make sure that you have a look underneath, click the links and let's start working out who you are today. I'm Melina McDonald, bye from me.